It's a bird. It's a plane. It's an interstate in the sky. This week, North Carolina and Georgia transportation officials announced a proposed air corridor that would link Charlotte to Atlanta, and this could offer relief to the city's notorious and infamous gridlock situation. Now, before you get ready to hail a ride share in the sky, Chief Transportation Correspondent Pilot May Kay Beeler joins us with what we need to know. May Kay? Yeah, hold on to your horses. Not yet, but coming. So the goal is to improve the next generation of air mobility with a dedicated air route. Yes, joining the two cities, the Sky High Passageway, just a study and a concept for now, but its eventual execution can't come soon enough for those of us who just dread the jammed roadways between the Queen City and ATL. Well, Flying Magazine reports the corridor will serve as a real-world test bed for drones, electric air taxis, and other aircraft. The North Carolina Department of Transportation and the Georgia DOT are working together to study the unprecedented test bed for the nation's first highway in the sky for advanced air mobility aircraft known as AAM. So, okay, what's that? This includes uncrewed drones, EV tolls, electric vertical takeoff and landing air taxis, yes, and more. Now, it's going to involve the Tar Hill State and the Peach State uh, to coordinate flight paths using advanced navigation systems to demonstrate the technology's, quote, potential to reduce congestion, improve travel time, and support regional economic growth, that according to the NCDOT. Now, officials say this test bed may bring eventually commercial AAM passenger and cargo operations to the southeast. And for many of us, yes, that means the convenience of air taxis. Nick Short, the director of NCDOT's Division of Aviation, in remarks accompanying the announcement said, this corridor is a launch pad for innovation. It will transform how we connect people, move freight, and strengthen links between our communities, all while advancing smarter, cleaner, and more sustainable transportation systems. Now, the Charlotte Atlanta Corridor marks a big step in modernizing mobility for the region by enhancing safety and traditional next-gen aircraft. All right, officials say it could set, set a precedent for the rest of the Southeast. What do you think? I think it's cool. incredible. I love the videos of, of all these aircraft. I, I think I would ride them, but the big question is, okay, how much time are we really saving? How much faster would it be to fly to Atlanta versus driving? What do you think? I mean, you would Flying is probably, what, half an hour? Of 45 that? minutes, yeah. something yeah. like that. Oh, and you know, the traffic, that drive is horrendous. Mm -hmm. I want to get <laughs> in an airplane. Even if it's a little VTOL, they can go up to 200 miles per hour. Yeah. But still, what are we doing on the highway? And you got the crazy drivers. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be up there in the air. Well, there I'm we concerned go. about air traffic, though. We know road traffic's nuts, but you got two of the busiest airports in the world. Like, what's air traffic? Is that an issue, though? Yeah. Oh. But don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's don't more space out there, though. though. God bless ATC. Mm -hmm. They'll work it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they'll work it out. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what about uh, have they been approved yet? Any air taxis been approved for commercial use? Not yet. Still uh -huh. in the testing and certification process. Joby Aviation and Archer Aviation, they have operating certificates from the FAA, but they still need full certification before they can carry passengers. <laughs> it's coming. It may come as early as the end of 2025. We're getting close, but not yet. It, real quick, is anybody here worried about nobody going through like TSA to get into a aircraft? Air taxi uh, with other people? Come up with They'll come up with some kind of safety. Some I mean, yeah. way to, to verify to. all of this. What, what's some the sort of advantage metal. of this over just flying? I mean, you're flying either way. Is well, it just the whole process faster the than getting advantage. on a plane? Uh -huh. A vertical takeoff and landing, it's like a helicopter, so right. they don't oh. have to go to the airport. Mm -hmm. oh. They can maybe have stations, oh. like heliports. Yeah, okay, yeah. heliports. Okay, there we go. This is what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll see. see. Stay May tuned. K. All right. Thank okay. you. Make a Queen City News Plus. Just search Queen City News on your smart TV's app store.